Hey, how are you? Welcome to the show. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. Uh, the title of this video is The Death of Success. Dun, dun, dun. And how good intentioned people can screw you up. Now that is a working title. And I just noticed if I stand right there, if I, in that light, it looks like I have a halo over my head, right? Check that out. Brad Axelrad, thank you for joining us. And Rick, how's it going, man? <clears throat> Excuse me. You guys, welcome to this. Okay, so here's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna try to do this in under 10 minutes. How the, the good intention people in your life could totally screw you up. Yes, brother. Here's the thing, and this, this goes, gosh, it, it probably starts at a very, very young age. A lot of people have very good intentions, but that doesn't mean they're qualified to give you advice, or maybe they're qualified but aren't factoring in your personal values. Rob Robinson, how's it going? Cree, what's happening, brother? <clears throat> Got all my friends here, this is great. So think about it like this. If someone has a fear or an anxiety about something and they say, well, and, and you, but you want to do something and they say, well, don't do that, that's dangerous. Maybe it's not, maybe it's their perception. Or maybe they say, oh, that's too risky. Maybe it's not <laughs> because they haven't done a risk analysis or they don't have the resources that you have or you're willing to get to see something through uh, to, to its fruition. So this happens probably with our parents when we're younger. It happens with our teachers too. Can you remember high school teachers probably because that's when you start developing you know, who you're going to be as an adult and how things are going to progress in your life. <clears throat> and then people start giving you advice about what you can do or should do or uh, how a process should work. They're good intention people, but they don't have the necessary skills. And I always give this example of like, you know, the, the guy who's a short order cook at Denny's, he might be an incredibly kind guy, maybe very funny, he, you know, he's helping his family out and he's working very hard. Does that mean, and he's good intention, he goes, yeah, I got this insider tip on, on a stock. Does that mean he's qualified to help you with, with stock advice? Of course not, of course not. So be conscientious about good intentioned but misdirected people who want to help you but may not be qualified or may not have done the research or the work necessary to give you appropriate advice. So this is why also it's very important to hang around with a good group of smart, uh, forward thinking <clears throat> people who also do a lot of research ongoing on a continual basis. So think of the person in your life, past or present, that always has good intentions to help you, uh, but somehow that falls short. Why, why is that falling short? Why is their advice or their intention falling short? What I want you to do is look for patterns because you need to be aware of these kind of things going on in the future as well because there's a lot of people who want to offer all advice. And, I, and this is a good way of putting it this way. <clears throat> we are all created equal. We are all equal in this world. However, not everyone's opinion matters the same on all matters. Does my opinion matter uh, to Elon Musk about his SpaceX program? No. I don't know anything about uh, rocket science. <clears throat> My opinion doesn't matter. Do I matter as a human? Sure, I matter as a human. But should he listen to me about rocket science? Nope, I don't have a clue. Uh, so be conscientious about who's giving your advice. And also, more importantly, how do you feel about that advice? And if someone loves you and you love them and you have some sort of bond or relationship, familial tie of some sort, you don't want to hurt their feelings, but at the same time, you know that if you take that advice, it's not going to serve you uh, to the to its highest possibility. So be conscientious who you're seeking your advice from. So right now, just take a quick second. We're going to wrap this up. Who always wants to give you advice, but yet it's, it's ill-timed, unwarranted, or you've never had a desirable outcome from it? It could be that they want to be helpful, but not everyone's opinion on all matters is equal. They don't have the same value. We're all equal as humans, not everyone's opinion. 
Not everyone's perspective, not everyone's knowledge is the same on all topics. Sometimes you have to ignore people who are good intentioned, but want to serve you. Uh, and you don't want to hurt their feelings, I get it. <clears throat> what you should be doing is seeking out the knowledge of people in each area that have the expertise to best serve you. So as an example, what I do is uh, I used to go like all, and I still do this to some extent, I'll go all, all over seeking the best people to, to learn from. Now, in many cases, I actually just hire them. I'll get them on the phone. I say, what is your day rate? All right, it's X number of dollars. All right, fly into town. You're gonna coach me for a day. And that's what I've been doing with various experts so I can learn. That shortcuts my path to success. It's that simple. Now, maybe you can't always do that, but you find out who's the very best. Okay, do they have a podcast? Who's the very best at this? Do they have a book? Who's the very best at this? Do they have a course? And then also, when you're finding this out, don't take one person's bit of advice on that. There's probably several people that also know of that individual and they probably have a similar value system as you, if you guys are tight friends, right? And then you can best discern who can give you the best advice and also has good intention because good intention, misdirected, misinformed people waste your time. Even though they might be super sweet and kind and you might be related to them through DNA. You don't always have to take their uh, input uh, at face value and it doesn't always serve you to the highest level. It's that, that's it, you guys. Peace out, I'm keeping this one short. Enjoy your day, okay? And I'll talk to you soon, I got more coming.